Now then puzzlings, we've got an exciting one today. I am on my way to do my Mod 1 motorbike test on a Suzuki Gladius 650, I believe. It's an exciting day, it's the start of the journey to bigger bikes. And weirdly, like, I'm not nervous in the slightest. I know it sounds really weird, but I'm really not nervous. I just want to get there and get riding. Now there's a few things that are against me. So there's a few things that are against me. The first, <laughs> you might look and see the weather is absolute arse wipe. It's not good at all, in the slightest. In fact, this is really mild to what it was earlier to this morning. This morning it was torrential. So yeah, you join me on this incredibly moist morning for the Moist Mod 1. <laughs> now for anyone who isn't aware of what the Mod 1 motorbike test is, it's essentially a skills test. So on a driving test in, the car, in your car, you do all your skills on the same driving test, you know, you've got your reverse round the corner, you've got your... things like that. That's not the same for a motorbike test, there's two separate tests, the road and then the off-road test. So the off-road test is what I'm doing today, Mod 1. It entails about eight, nine different manoeuvres, including slalom, figure of eight, U-turn, and then even some emergency stop, controlled stop. Uh, and hazard avoidance, which is the one maybe I've got a slight reservation about, but I feel okay all in all. I'll chuck the actual course up on screen. And if you want me to go into the Mod 1 test in more detail, once I've completed one, maybe not passed, but once I've completed one, let me know. And I will do that. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do it through the two-wheel school in Eccles Hill on the other side of Bradford. So we will see how good they are and hopefully, if I can get through it, I'll have a big cheeky recommendation to use them. Hopefully. Come on baby, let's filter. Oh, this is the most amount of like proper filtering I've ever done. I'm enjoying it. So I mentioned the weather is stacked up against me, which is true. Now the thing that potentially made today not possible but obviously it is possible because I'm on my way here <laughs> was again the weather but not rain no 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 I wasn't lucky enough for it to just rain so I was actually scheduled to do a full day's training with this school on Saturday it's the Monday now but I was scheduled to do a full day's training on Saturday which would have really helped out because I've never ridden a 650 so snow came heavy on Friday you know if this is coming out sort of maybe on the Friday which it should be you'll know which snow I was talking about Get out of my way, bitch. So the snow came. The snow was incredibly heavy on the Friday. Like I said, training due on the Saturday. And it meant that I couldn't do the training because the uh, 
the course that I'd be doing it on was incredibly slippery. So I rung them and they were perfect with it, sorted me out really well, obviously cut a full day's cost off of it, which is brilliant. And she just said to me, well, you've got your test date booked two days after. So it's up to you, really. Do you want to just come and do it anyway? And we'll get you in as early as possible on the Monday. So you can have, what, four hours on the bike, three, four hours on the bike. And then um, we can just go for it. It's only a 15, 20 pound test. So I said to her, fuck it, let's do it. And that's where I'm going now. So yeah, I am on my way. My test's probably at midday. And I have still <laughs> never touched a 650. Which is pretty nuts, to be honest. Who's this? What's this knob jockey doing? I'm going to look at them and shame them. Shame. Oh god, that's slippy. So yeah, wish me luck. Because it's... I say I'm not nervous, it is quite nervy, but I think that's more a place of uncertainty more than nerviness. Nice. Look at the state of this. Also, if you're wondering, this is Bradford. Thank you. And you know when I say people have a shit opinion on Bradford? I think it's probably because of the city centre I'll try and film some of the mod 1 training or the test if I can but if not obviously it's either because I wasn't allowed or I bottled it probably the latter <laughs> I was all ready for my Saturday training session to then two days later do my test snow came Friday big time training centre overwhelmed with snow and ice pushed it on so I already knew I were only going to get three hours training on a 650 before a mod one and then the morning of I was woken up by the berating of rain on the window because it was that windy and sideways that it's made everything piss wet through so maybe the odds are slightly stacked against me but we'll see how quick I pick this 650 up. That first hour of riding the 650 is going to be the the test of whether my confidence can get in the right place for doing this. But also, where they do the test centre, or where they do the mod ones, they use a test centre other in Weatherby, which is the other side of Leeds from us, and is about an hour's ride away. So that's good. Because I believe... I've never done it before, obviously, but I believe that that means I get to ride the 650 over there. I'm sure I'll be able to do that because they need a bike there somewhere and I'm not jumping on the back of it. Ooh, Bradford in rush hour. It's not really my usual commute, is it? But it's thrown up a bit of extra filterage. I don't know if you can see that up on the hill. You see the Bradford City football ground wonderful and yes I do support them <laughs> probably the reason why I'm pointing it out because everyone else probably is like oh, I don't care <laughs> I really don't care Eccles Hill yes well I need to stop first because this is a traffic light traffic light yeah posty toasty posty no it's definitely not toasty today What's this knobber doing? Get off the road! Mr Frodo. I know it's Frodo who says that. <laughs> right, so I've been over here once um, to make a deposit. But we will see about the second time. Right, we're going to get to front of this queue. You see that yellow box? It means don't block. Stay there. Now this is a side to Bradford is, that is definitely a negative. Driving in the centre of Bradford, never mind riding, driving in the centre of Bradford is outrageous. 
So we heard from a copper that if you drive in Bradford and you don't have a dash cam, then you are you're an idiot. I listened. <laughs> Looking forward to it, I'm getting closer. Oh, I'm getting excited, I'm getting a little bit nervous now, but it's all right, I've already had my nervous poo this morning. So maybe that's where all the nerves have gone. I think it's down here. I'm gonna leave the video here because I know that I'm only like a corner away from the place. So I would just like to say, extend my gratitude if you are still here. Thank you. And wish me luck, guys. Speak to you in the next one. See you, puddings.